today, I am going to Target. We are going to have a total self-care day. I'm gonna call an Uber right now. I will see you guys here in just a minute at Target. Bye. We are at Target. All right, here we are in the beauty section. First thing I'm seeing, Mighty Patches. I definitely knew I wanted to pick up some of these. I think I'm gonna get, let's get a regular. Let's just get a regular. All right, the next thing I'm seeing over here is the La Roche-Posay line, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. I have used this one from them before. I really love their gentle cleanser. I have a little bit left of it at home, so I'm not gonna get a new one today. Yeah, so I absolutely love, I'm obsessed with the La Roche-Posay line. Definitely go get it, it's amazing. It's super, super good, great quality. All right, so here's the CeraVe line. CeraVe is really good. I do actually really like them. My little sister got me into them and I use their lotion right here. Just their regular normal to dry lotion. It's unscented. It is actually really nice and it sits really well on the skin. So I'm actually looking for the brand Bioma and oh, here it is right here. This line is the one that I was really looking for was the Bioma. I want to get Definitely this cleanser right here. I had the little sample size from an advent calendar and it was absolutely amazing on my skin. And so I definitely know going into, they have a milky oil cleanser and then just a regular jelly cleanser. This is the one that I used. I think I'm gonna go with this one. All right, then they have all of these other options that I haven't tried any of this line yet. What is this? Ooh. This deep puff one looks interesting. I've not heard anything about their deep puff and eye brightening gel. I'm kind of interested in the clarifying. I think we're gonna go with this one. Right, so these are the two I'm definitely gonna try. So excited. I know this one for sure is amazing, but I haven't tried this one yet. So we're gonna see how this serum does. If we will, we will see though. Okay, so I'm very excited. I did really want to try this cleansing balm from Verst. And they have like the whole line here. And I've heard really, really good things about this one in particular for getting rid of makeup at night. So I think I'm gonna try this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try this. I'm also kind of curious about this first resurfacing instant mask. It looks really good. I feel like I watched another YouTube video about somebody that did a mask from them. I don't know if it was this one or not. I'm gonna put it in my cart and I'm like, well, I'm just gonna like think about it. So we'll see. I don't know, but I'm probably gonna get it. Here's another skincare line I really do like. I like the whole Bliss line. I use the blue bottle, whatever that one is. But this one also has really good reviews and it has vitamin C in it. So that would be really nice for brightening up your skin a little bit. All right, now we are down the Frenchies aisle. Everyone's obsessed. Actually, all of this stuff right here is very familiar to me. I've tried their candles before. Their candles are actually really amazing hand serum oh they have so much stuff i didn't know that they had this much stuff i might have to think about this because honestly their body wash would maybe be a really good one to try i wish i liked that i don't like that i do like bergamot normally but i don't like that Ooh, ooh, that smells like that smells like anthropology to me that's like really clean and it's a little bit floral and it's a little bit of a warm spice or something. So I've tried this line before. It really dried out my skin. I'm not a big fan of it. If you have dry skin, just skip this product entirely. So I know a lot of people are also really obsessed with the Coco Kind brand, but I'm kind of like looking at some of these items right now and they all sound really good. I think I've maybe heard about this jelly cleanser, but I did just get the jelly cleanser from Bioma, so I think I'm gonna pass on this one today. But this line, I've heard nothing but really, really wonderful things about. Okay, so I obviously had to go through the whole bath bomb section. I just really like the color of this one, and I think I'm gonna get this one too. Obviously, we are gonna have to stop and smell every single one of these. I'm obsessed. This one I've had, I've had the watermelon before. I've smelled this one before. I'm not like a big fan of it. The Coca Lotta, I literally almost got that the last time I was here. And I just finished this one, which is my absolute favorite, is the vanilla. 
I'm such a vanilla girl. This one smells like vanilla icing to me. I also had the watermelon. Love that it actually has like the little watermelon seeds in it and makes it look so realistic. Moroccan rose, also very popular. Every time I've smelled it though, it's not okay no i kind of like it today that's weird i actually really like that like why so that's a maybe blue lagoon another very popular one mm. why do people like that it literally smells like detergent shocking i think i'm gonna go with the moroccan rose which i didn't think i was gonna like i actually thought that i hated this scent but it smells really good today so i think i'm gonna get that heard anything good about this line I've definitely have smelled all of them before and I just haven't heard anything like wonderful about them I think that they are just okay and they definitely smell just okay so I've never committed to them so let me know down below comment down below actually if you have used any of the beloved line and what you thought about it All right, so this is the very first mini section. Not like a big mini girl, but everyone seems to be really obsessed with them. And maybe it's good for like trying out things. I know I really liked having that advent calendar last year from here, because I got to try a bunch of things that I might not have tried before. Like they have the first cleansing balm, the one that I just thought the big one. This just looks pretty. Ooh, it's a hyaluronic acid, so they have some pretty native. Ooh, that's their shampoo. I could try out their shampoo. We're gonna move on. Ooh, we have some face mask. I'm not like a big sheet mask person, but maybe I'll get one. Little lip mask. These are for your feet. That could be kind of fun. All right, we have another side of minis over here. I feel like I've seen this before. What is this, Monday? Ooh, it's a conditioner. We have mini Batiste right here for a dry shampoo. We also have the It's a 10. Sorry. Some leave-in. Ooh, is that for your hair? Three-in-one leave-in for your hair. Interesting. For $6 though, is it worth it? Maybe we'll try it just to try it. Now I did really legitimately need new shampoo and conditioner. I've been really obsessed with the Kristen S line. I use the signature regular one. I've heard good things about this. I did get the mini shampoo so I could test it out. But I heard good things. I also heard good things about the Odell line. And clarifying ultra sensitive moisture repair for the native. I don't know. Ooh, I've also heard good things about this one. So just the cucumber oh, these do actually smell really good. This is the salt hair moisture bound. It doesn't really smell like much. It kind of just smells like shampoo in the most basic sense. It smells like soap. Odell, I'm gonna try the smoothing one. There's like no smell to that one. Yeah, I don't smell anything on that. the cucumber mints. Make sure I got the shampoo and the conditioner. All right, so down this aisle we have some body lotion. I just want something with like a little bit of a scent but that I can wear every day. I think I might try the Eos. Love this one and I've tried this one. Oh, I could be matchy matchy and get the native lotion. <gasps> they have lavender rose. The eucalyptus and mint for coconut vanilla. I am such a coconut vanilla girl. It's not even funny. Oh, I'm gonna have okay, now of course I really did do deodorant. I love native deodorant. Wait, stop. They actually have the plastic ones up here. More expensive. Why is it more expensive? That doesn't make any sense. It's plastic free and it's better for the environment, but I'm being like 
penalize one extra dollar for using it. I don't understand. But whatever. All right, we're gonna go with the coconut and vanilla. Thirteen dollars. That's insane. All right, the last thing I needed, well, not the last thing I needed, but one of the things that I needed was definitely a body wash. I've heard good things about the method. Oh my gosh, am I gonna get all native stuff? I feel like if I get this, I'm gonna wanna put back the native lotion, so I just have like a little bit of brand variety. Ooh, that one's pretty. This is a coconut and rice water. That one's also really pretty. Sweetheart cinnamon. Ugh. It's like fireball. It's like you would shower and you would smell like fireball afterwards. Ooh, that one smells good now. I think I might get this one. Wait, a bubble bath sounds so nice. I need sleep. Right, toothbrush. Okay, I just need a couple more things and it would not be a trip to Target if I didn't get any snacks for the pets. We like these. I tried these before, they like those. They love these ones, so I'm gonna get them these. Surprise, surprise. All right, we're just gonna be easy. We're gonna get Target's brand of rosé. Wait, no, I need <gasps> pumpkin shortbread, pumpkin brulee, heritage pumpkin, cinnamon pumpkin muffin, bourbon pumpkin, pumpkin pancakes. Oh my gosh. Pumpkin brulee. Heritage pumpkin. That's like perfect, perfect fall. It's bourbon. So good. I'm not gonna be able to make up my mind. Oh, that's so good. That's so fall. That's so really good. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to get a big one of the Heritage Pumpkin. Alright, that is it. We did it. We got everything. I am getting out of here before I spend any more money. I just got back from Target, Ubered here, poured myself a little glass of really pretty rosé, which there are definitely some ice cubes in it, but so I'm going to unpack everything, put everything away, and then I'm going to sit down and show you guys what I actually ended up getting. I got so much stuff. It was so fun. I went crazy, but I was like literally out of everything, but I had so much fun and it was so embarrassing to film. Everyone was like literally staring at me, but I was just like, I like these videos and now I understand why people go so early in the morning because when everyone's out, there were so many babies screaming. There were so many babies screaming. I couldn't believe it, but yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got really quick. But if you could do me a really big favor and subscribe, I would absolutely love that. That would be so, so cool. Cause I promise I'm gonna show you guys more of these videos in the future. And I would love to do a beauty routine, honestly, with all of these items. So without further ado, as promised, here's what we got. Starting off first, I got a toothbrush set that is aesthetically really pretty because mine was <laughs> old. New loofah, mine was getting crusty, dusty, musty, so she had to go. Mighty Patches. Next, I got the Bioma Clarifying Serum. I really hope that it helps to like lighten my skin where I do have some sun damage, particularly like around my forehead or any like scarring of any sort. So I absolutely love their cleanser, which fast forward, this is the cleanser that I got from them. I got just the Hydrate and Brighten the Jelly Cleanser. I know I love this one. I got it in a sample set, like I was saying earlier. I used all of it, I loved it, and I'm excited to try another product from them. Bioma, love them, love their branding. Their packaging is so cute. Next thing I got, two bath bombs. I got these two, they are Mermaid Bomb and Unicorn Bomb. 
Next thing I got was from Sunbum. I've only ever had their face sunscreen before, which I absolutely 100% recommend their face sunscreen. It is absolutely amazing. And this is a three-in-one leave-in hair treatment serum. Really good. It's supposed to be revitalizing. I got the sample size. I'm going to see how I like it. And if I like it, I will get the fuller size later. Next thing I got, I am clearly... So excited for some rest and relaxation. This is a Dr. Teal's foaming bath and Epsom. Next thing I got, I got a body lotion by Native in the scents coconut and vanilla. Gorgeous. This is like just vanilla. It smells like vanilla icing. It actually kind of reminds me of, oh, what does it remind me of? It reminds me of a philosophy scent that I think I've had before. I went back and forth between the scents on this one and also I really struggle between getting this and the Salter and I can't remember what the other brand name is. Right now I'll just put that name right here but these, I ended up going with these, the native. I got the cucumber and mint scent and it's super fresh. I feel like it, I'm not going to get sick of it. That's a big thing. That's so good. That's a big thing for me is I get really sick of scents, especially if it's in a bottle this big. So I got the volumizing shampoo and the volumizing conditioner. I'm excited. I actually didn't know that these were volumizing. I kind of just picked these based on scent and I'm realizing they're volumizing right now. So I hope that they don't dry my hair out too much because sometimes volumizing products dry my hair out a lot. I got the day dissolving cleansing balm this one has been raved about on social media for just being a really great makeup remover i'm really excited to try it i haven't heard about anyone breaking out from that one too so i think it's going to be a really good quality i also got from verse instant resurfacing mask i wanted to find a mask that was like pre-made i feel like they used to offer way more pre-made mask and now I don't really see those anymore. I feel like it's just sheet masks is honestly the only thing I'm really seeing right now. Next up, I got a body wash by Method. I actually got the acai, which I was saying earlier, I didn't like really fruity ones, but, and it is a little bit fruity. I hope I don't get sick of this one. All right, next up, the Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut. I'm kind of really surprised I went with Moroccan Rose. This one, which I've smelled before and I didn't really like it, I really liked it today. I don't know why that smells so good it's kind of perfumey and honestly using this before you shave your legs is so key i love don't use it after do not do not use this after you shave your legs because that's brutal but if you use it before you shave your legs you'll have a really really great shave and you probably won't get any ingrown hairs so i got the native deodorant right here surprise surprise in coconut and vanilla it's beachy it's wonderful and I paid the extra dollar to get the cardboard so I didn't use any plastic so I guess all of these other things came in plastic though so I don't know but I tried so last thing I got was from bliss is I got their vitamin C and peptide so this is gonna be a little bit of a face brightening serum and then I did get two fall candles they had their fall stuff out already. They had a lot of pumpkin stuff out. I guess I'm like a fall baby now. I always thought I had a summer birthday, but according to what's out in the stories, I think I am an honorary fall baby right now. My birthday's in two weeks, so they already have this stuff out. I think I'm a fall baby now. All right, so this one is the Heritage Pumpkin. I went with this one because I thought it was just like super classic pumpkin it, with a little bit of spice to it. Oh, it's just, this is, this is fall in a candle. And this line, Opal House is the name of the, this line. They actually do smell. I'm really sick of getting candles that are duds. And, and then downstairs right now, I have the fall harvest lit already. I am... So excited that is all i have for my stuff this evening i am going to go rest and relax i have already opened up my rosé my five dollar target rosé and i'm just gonna have a super relaxing fun evening i'm going to literally try all of these products and i'm going to probably honestly start editing this vlog right now and stay up all night editing it so i can get out to you all as fast as can be but i love you all please subscribe i would absolutely love it if you came back and visited me again and we shopped together again love you all have a really great one bye i know
These are our favorite. This is the foot donkeys. I know. Oh my my. That's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. We're so pretty. Thank you.